Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, today is November the 18th, 2021. In today's video, we're going to talk about can we still see a massive pump in Kadena? Welcome to HFN. We're also known as Ufinus. We're not going to give you any confusion. I'm just slipping here to look at what price has been and where we're trying to go in terms of price movement so that we can be in position and capitalize from it. So if you guys want to learn more, if you guys just want to see where our predictions are going to go, then keep it locked in here. Hit the like button, should have been also subscribe here to the channel and definitely want to say thank you to all our day one supporters of this particular cryptocurrency channel. So now I'm not going to waste too much of your time. Let's dive right on into what price has done since our last video in Kadena, which was on November the 9th. So let me go ahead and zoom in on this particular chart here. You guys can tell that generally the price did not go down in Kadena so far. Uh, the market, instead of going down, you guys can vividly tell it went up. So our last video, November the 9th, the price in Kadena did not go the way that we expected it to go. I'm going to keep it real with you all. It didn't go down, but maybe not right now because you guys can literally tell since that time that price in Kadena has been on a slow movement lower. Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder, are we still seeing the weakness into the space in Kadena, right? So I wanted to come in and, and really update you all as to what's really going on into the market in Kadena so that we can still see and be in position to win in the market. So first of all, let me go ahead and get rid of this price prediction. I will take it. I'll take the hit. The market did not go the way I expected it to go. And it will go that way sometimes, which would give us around what? If we were to get out the market now, then that would be around 22% loss right there. Cool. I, I, I get it. We're not going to win every price prediction when we come in and do these videos. This is one of them. I'll take the hit. All right, so let me go ahead and get rid of that. And now let's see where price is still trying to go in Kadena because these two lines on my chart are still very applicable and it's still going to be real important to where price is going to go. Because you guys can see from our last video, we did create a support area in the market in Kadena, right there around $15.15. .15. And I told you all then, as long as price in Kadena was able to hold that price, then we're going to see the market go up and that's pretty much been the case now we're still seeing some weakness though mix in the strength can we still see the market and condena hold fifteen dollars and fifteen cents let's try to figure that out so let's start off with the market here in condena on a three-day time frame because currently this market in condena is weak now there has been some buyers in the market in condena because from this last completed three day price bar, we did see the price come down to 18, but the market was able to close right there at $21.48. There's still some interest here, meaning that people are still interested in Kadena's price, even trading up here towards all time highs. Because they're expecting or they see that the discount in the market in Kadena is there. So they're willing to come in and buy the market. Now, the question is, is it done? Are there sellers still involved into the market in Kadena? Because if so, that wasn't a good time to come in and buy Kadena around $22. Let's look at this on the two-day time frame. So this is the market in Kadena on the two-day time frame. And currently we are finding that the elevated support area, rather than it being down here at $15.15, .15, it looked like it's up here towards $17.15, $18 looks to be the closest area to where the market in container is trying to hold and trade support. Now, I'm not overly bullish into the market in container. I know that the title of this video read that can we still see a massive pump coming into the market in container? And I'm not really seeing that, right? I'm not seeing that on the two day time frame. I'm not seeing it on the three day. I'm not even seeing it here on the five day time frame here in this particular space. I still see the market as being overextended from this overall trend of following this ascending line. The market is definitely overextended. Look at this on a weekly time frame. So this is the market in Kadena on the weekly time frame. Now, in the next three days and 13 hours, I'm going to keep it real with everyone who listens to this video and watches it. If we close below last week's close, uh, the market is still giving us some weakness here in this particular space. It's just that simple. So we got three days and 13 hours left. So we all need to be paying attention to see where price closes on this current weekly price bar. Because if we close lower than previous week, then I'm still anticipating the price in Kadena to go down. Yes, I am. Now, you probably don't want to hear that. You guys want to see the price in Kadena hit $1,000, but we're not there yet. So let's keep it reasonable here. All right, so let me go ahead and see 
what we have here on an hourly time frame and then i'll go ahead and do my price prediction in this space because i'm actually still seeing some weakness here into the market in Cadena. i'm still seeing that there's selling for the majority of the part going on traded above 18 dollars this is the seven hour chart can you all see anything different i mean are you noticing strength coming into the market in container right now this is where the strength is coming in right here okay so as we see this market come down in Condena, we really need to see a whole $20 and even $18 as support. Because if we break those two price levels, then we're going to come all the way back down and test 16, even at $15 and 15 cent area that I talked about earlier in the video. We need to see the market in Condena hold $20. That would be better for us to see price hold 20, but definitely no lower than 18, right? So let's look at this on a three hour chart into the market in Cadena. So I am going to play the weakest into the market in Cadena, but I'm not going to be extremely weak. I'm not telling that the market's going to collapse. I'm not saying that the price is going to plummet, but we are noticing how this market really is just trying to create a consolidation range, right? So on the next video, we'll come through and try to establish where the market in Cadena is trading sideways. We already got $15.15 as support. Might want to bring it up just as tad around 16. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of this ascending line here because the market in Cadena is not necessarily trading around it. And I want to make sure that our charts stay clean. So if price is not utilizing the lines, then there's no need for us to keep it on our chart. So I'm going to hold this $16 area as support, even though I already told you that I do see $20 as support and I do see $18 as support. So as I conduct this price prediction, keep that in mind that that is where we need to be prepared to eat off the market, to take the bag, to take the bread from everyone else. Right. So let me go ahead and extend this out a little bit further. And for us to play the weakest here into the market in Cadena, um, for us to hit that twenty dollar price will give us around four and three quarters of a percent profitability. That's cool, right? We understand that the price can stop right there at 20 and then start to go back up in price. Now, before it goes back up, we want to make sure that we take the profit. That's four and three quarters of a percent right there. Second area, like I said, is around 18. So I'll do like $18.15, 13.39% profitability there into the market in Cadena. Then ultimately, we cannot see price break our support area. Okay. So this is my prediction. I'm still seeing the weakness to the market in Cadena, even though from our last video, price didn't necessarily go down, but it didn't mean, or it doesn't mean that price is not about to go down now. Right? So this is my updated price prediction into the market in Cadena. I definitely want to know what do you all think, right? I know many of you may be long-term holders and you say that, you know, this is not applicable. I'm looking for a long-term play, which is excellent. But for those who are looking to try to get in and you're not in the play yet, at what price are you willing to get in? Drop me the comment right now. Tell me where do you see the price in Cadena going in the next three weeks? So let me switch this back over to the daily time frame so we can continue to watch the price movement. We got a couple of price levels that I told you all to keep aware of. $20 first, $18 second, and like $16.45 third. Those are the three levels that I'm looking for price to go. Now, it's your turn. You could call the markets right alongside with me and let me know what are you all seeing in terms of price movement and Cadena? Like I said, there's nothing wrong with price trading sideways, but the trend is still intact. You guys remember that ascending line I had on my chart? So all in all, the price is still geared to go up in the long term. But this is a prediction on a shorter time frame. So now give me yours. Three weeks out. Let me know where the price is going to be. Make sure you maintain that profitability. And as always, trade different.